What is up you guys? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Shakira. I'm just a small 16 year old Christian YouTuber who's all about God, lifestyle, fashion, and fun. And if you are new, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. So um, if you guys haven't noticed, I am in a new kind of background and I did move houses and stuff. But if you guys want to catch up, I just want you guys to watch this quick little video real quick but in today's video i'm going to be doing a q a because i feel like that you guys don't know me anymore the past to me was like very childish i didn't really see things different other than how a child would i would always see things as fun and everything isn't fun anymore i growing up i'm seeing a lot of different views of the world and just with all that all that that is going on in this world it's like the world is getting uglier and uglier and so yeah so i am going to update you guys on myself and you guys asked a lot of questions on my instagram so i'm going to answer those questions as best as i can and i hope you guys can enjoy this video First question you guys did ask a lot of really good questions so the first question is when did you truly realize you wanted a relationship with God so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have always known that there is only one God I always thought that I could have a relationship with God through my parents that I didn't really have to do anything and that's dumb right yeah so maybe about a year or two ago I think it's like two years ago if you guys want to watch the full story, it is on my uh, YouTube channel. It's just like I I have diabetes. It's me explaining everything that's happened. But I had a near-death experience and I was in the hospital for about five days and I was supposed to go into like a sugar coma, but thank God I did not. Well, honestly, I can say that that pushed me to have a better relationship with God and to hear him clearer than ever and to just want to do everything right. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I am striving every single day to be more and more like God and you guys should do the same thing too. You know, if you ever need help, you can text me, watch our Facebook lives, which is on, at, we're known as The Way Church. And my dad's uh, Facebook page, which is Marcus Scott Sr. Um, I'll leave his page in the uh, description box so you guys can go check that out. All the Facebook Live videos. Uh, someone said, favorite food, hidden talents, other than singing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> favorite perfume and best childhood memory. So my favorite food, I am a rib steak kind of girl, okay? I'm a rib steak kind of girl. It's hidden talents. Um, honestly, I don't really think I have any hidden talents. I mean, you know other than being pretty but that's not really hidden though <laughs> yeah um i can cook i can i could plan events i can decorate um i guess i guess that's a hidden talent i don't really know my favorite perfume okay please turn your attention <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Perfume cannot hide your stink smell, your must, your fishy. We're not even gonna go there. Perfume cannot hide that, baby. Just go wash. Take a bath. Anyways. <laughs> I can't take myself so serious. Okay. So I have the most perfume in this house. I still have some even hidden in my bathroom, but I can say my favorite one this is gonna have to be my favorite it is a uh, coach new york it smells amazing as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure she, oh, that smell every single time it smells so good it smells so good it smells really good but of course i took a shower so i can put on perfume Not sponsored. <laughs> Back to my YouTube video. On to the next question. Um, best childhood memory. My best childhood memory is gonna have to be when me and my family took a trip to Florida. We went swimming, we visited some family, we went to a, a ton of different um water parks and it was just full of fun and amazing. What's your favorite type of candy? So I like airhead soft bites, I like those sweetheart ropes. 
favorite, favorite, favorite candy of all freaking time, of all, all freaking time, is most definitely gonna have to be Boston Baked Beans. If you love me, you will get me some of those. You've never heard of them. They're just like uh, uh, candy coated peanuts. They are so freaking amazing. And the best thing about it is like being diabetic. You can still eat those because they have nuts in them and nuts are really good for you when diabetic. So it tastes really good. I can't wait to come and eat, not eat them because I can't. Hmm. How long do you want to do YouTube? So I don't plan on stopping doing YouTube anytime soon. So I guess the day I die, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably be still doing it when I have a husband and when I have some children. And you know, you know, Pastor said, he said, put a ring on that finger so you can have some legal booty. <laughs> put a ring on that finger so you can have legal booty. Dare Farmer said that, y'all. Where have you been? Okay. Here's where we get serious. <laughs> this past year and this year going on has been like a really rough year for me. You know, going through high school and all, you have all these emotions and people in your life that aren't supposed to be there and just relationships not only intimate relationships friend relationships have not been working out so well so it's like i'm trying to get myself together from all of that and i I've, I've been trying to plan youtube videos but i have to prioritize everything so that's where i have been also i've been dealing with like church events and like stuff like that so yeah just know that i'm doing better um and yeah my favorite artist. Favorite artist. Baby, I, I'm just trying to figure out. Artist. Why not artistic? Yeah, why why isn't there an S on the end? Who has just one favorite artist? Who? me i like i like okay like 90 percent of the time all i listen to is gospel other than gospel i listen to a little r&b you know at the end of the road yeah like can't you know let it go you know stuff like that i like i like psalmist brain i like Chandler Moore. i like jacaylin carr I am a worshiper. About 98% of the time I'm listening to worship music. If I'm not listening to worship music, it's gonna have to be like my gospel hype playlist. Oh, favorite color? Um, I don't, hold up, be right back. I got it, I got it. My hair color is yellow. It's, all, it's so bright and, and it's so happy. And me wolf yellow. Favorite animal. My favorite animal is a freaking dolphin. I want to go swimming with the dolphins. I think that they are so adorable and cute. And I want to go swimming and I want to go on the boat with them one day. <laughs> Cats or dogs? I'm a dog person as a matter of fact. Let me go show you my dog. This is Max, a.k.a. Maxi Poo. Oh, please don't look off my makeup. Please. A Yorkie. We've had him for like a year or two. Ugh. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Do you want to say hi to people? I don't like cats. Just... Where would you like to live when you get older? But I haven't really thought about where I really want to live yet. I'm more so focused on where I want to go to college, you know? What I decide to do is when I get older will determine where I'm going to live. But I know right now that I kind of want to live um, somewhere along the beach, along the waters and stuff. I'm kind of scared too, because I know it's like a lot of tornadoes, hurricanes and things like that, and I don't want my home destroyed. I, I am thinking about staying somewhere near my hometown. 
so this is probably gonna be corny, but <laughs> it's like Meredith and Grace and Megan be wishing Christ. Um this is probably cringy, but I want to go to Paris and I want us to like sit at this beautiful table. I want to sit somewhere by the water though. I want it to be candles and wine and we're just laughing, joking around with each other and we're talking about what we're going to do in the future and we're just, we're talking about God and everything is just amazing and <laughs> I want steak and wine. Steak and wine at my Dream date. Dream college. So the colleges that I'm thinking about right now is Queens University, UNC Chapel Hill, and a lot of different other colleges that I'm researching. It was so funny because we had to go to the bathroom for 24 hours. It's much worse than what the time you got diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yourself all the time. <laughs> that would be really, really, really painful. I mean, really annoying probably. Are you sick right now? <laughs> Get out. What is your favorite middle school memory? Love you, Kira. I love you too, Julia. My favorite middle school memory is probably gonna have to be my seventh grade year in my social studies class. He was like one of my favorite teachers there. I had the best teachers meeting all of my teachers and seeing how nice they were. And then I, I had like tons of friends that year. We were all nice to each other. What things do you use to keep so in touch with God? When you want to stay in touch with God, here's what I use. I use prayer. I use my Bible. I use my pastor slash leader. And I use my worship music. When you worship, you are talking to God. Like you're letting him know how you feel and how much you adore him and stuff like that. And when you pray, you know, you get answers to your prayers. When you when you pray often, you can't just pray one prayer and like, sometimes it happens like that, but other, most of the time it's not gonna be like that. You have to continue in prayer for that one thing that you're seeking. You shouldn't only just stay in touch with God to get what you want. That, that's not okay. If you ever need help with that, let me know in the comments down below or you know, connect with me on my social media. I will help you. How has being a pastor's kid affected your life? So, there, I, let me just say this before I say anything. I would never trade being a pastor's kid for anything. There are times when I love being a pastor's kid and there are times when I hate it, okay? but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, it's affected me in some bad ways because, you know, when church comes up and I have like a school event or something to do, or like I wanna go hang out with my friends, I can't exactly always do so because I might, I might have a church event and I have to be there because I'm a pastor's kid. Not only do I have to be there because I'm a pastor's kid, but I wanna be there. I have to go through things with people at the church. <laughs> God will do what he said he would do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's another negative. You have to go to different churches and you just have to sit there and, and take it. You have to listen to people sing who can't sing. <laughs> it's so bad. Now, I'm not saying my family members or church members are the perfect singers. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you are going to go on stage and sing before the Lord, make sure you are on key. Make sure you are singing under the anointing and not just because you can't sing. Because if you are, you are therefore not glorifying the Lord. You are only glorifying yourself. So baby, take several seats, okay? Anyway, in, in positive ways, it has made my relationship with God a lot better. Um, it's made me realize things that I don't want to be, things that I don't want to have to go through if I just listen to the word of the Lord and if I just listen to God and listen to my parents. But the good outweighs the bad. So, so guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have learned a lot about me since I have matured. But thank you guys so much for your support and your love and watching me. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Connect with me on all my social media and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. Da -da 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 -da. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.